What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And today, Joe Montana, the Joe Montana squad. Yo, we are 2-0. We're feeling good about ourselves, man. Right now, Joe Montana has four rushing touchdowns and just two passing touchdowns. He is Steve Young. He is Michael Vick. He is Lamar Jackson. He is Timothy Tabot. okay? He's out there doing his thing with his arm and with his leg. But more importantly, he has the Oakland Badgers at 2-0. Is this the squad that can win a championship? Boy, oh boy, do I hope so. I really do. So we are going to be the home squad today in those beautiful, yes, I said beautiful blue and black Jersey, hoping that we can leave the Minnesota or the Minneapolis, not Minnesota, the Minneapolis werewolves black and blue. This team got some hitters on defense, though. Night Train Lane, Randy White, as you can see right there. The quarterback is Roger Starback, a.k.a. Captain America, Captain Comeback. Joe Montana known for the comeback as well. He is our leader on offense. Mike Singletary is our leader on defense. And we got some weapons on both sides of the ball that can cause some pain and agony physically mentally and emotionally so nice kick return up to the 27 yard line gonna run the ball with kelly and kelly got some you know kelly can get busy he can get wiggly and jiggly and find some room to run was that weird i apologize they're gonna run the football right at us and we stop him for a game of just one so third down and six star back Roger throws it. That pass is caught. Turner is there for the tackle, but it will be a first down. They're going to run the ball and look at Marshall. Marshall, Marshall, Marshall with the takedown of the running back. Then he gets some pressure, but we left our integrity, or we did not have any integrity when it came to our pass and rush lanes, but hey, it is what it is. They're going to run the ball. There goes Singletary laying the lumber. I love how big hitters actually like hit big and get different tackling animation than just the regular guys. I mean, that's something that some other football game needs to really look into. I'm just saying. I'm just throwing it out there. So they work their way up to the six-yard line, and look at the pressure we put on Roger. So that pass falls incomplete, and then the field goal is blocked. That's what I need in my life. They were driving down, making me so afraid, just so uh, scared, if you will. And it's going to be second down and 11. We're looking down for Joe. Cool? Not cool. Randy, yo, did you see his arm? My goodness. <laughs> Randy White with the takedown. Now we're going to be in our own end zone, and we do get a chance to throw the ball to the grass, which is better than the safety. So Cully from his own 31 breaks the tackle, turns the corner inside the 10, crosses the five yard line and up to the Oakland three. Third down the goal, they throw it to Kelly. That's a touchdown, and Minneapolis will strike first. So 7 nothing is the score. We got our man Sanders back there to the 20, to the 25. Up to the 30 and dragged down at the 31 yard. And we go up the gut with Roger Craig. And Roger gets tackled by Night Train Lane, gain of eight. Third down and two under some pressure. We roll right into a sack from the 37. Draw play. Look at Kelly with the spin move. Could this be the day that we take our first L? They go up the gut, and I, I just run right past them. I need to stick the plane on the D-line in this here football game. So can our defense get us the football back? They got good field position to start the second quarter. That pass going to be intercepted by Edmonds. And that's exactly what Daddy needed. So 7-0 is the score still, but we got the football and a chance to tie this thing up. Roger Craig gets tackled after a game of three. Third down and seven from the Oakland 33-yard line. We throw it underneath, caught by Matthews, but he shied the first down and fourth and inches. We do kick the ball away because I trust my defense, and so far it's working out. Second down and 16 after the sack. They run for a game of six. Back to the original line of scrimmage. They throw it, and it's caught by Upchurch, and that's going to be a first down for Minneapolis. From the 47, Marshall gets in there for the sack, and that's exactly what I needed in my life. Second down and 13. Marshall trying to take over from his deep end spot. Third down and 13. We get some more pressure. And we get another sack. There's a flag down. But will the play stand? No. Holding on the defense. And it's going to be an automatic first down from the Minneapolis 49 yard line. They give the ball to 44. And we are all up on them. Can we get a stop here? Second down and eight. We're going to tackle him with Van Pelt and company. And now it's going to be third down and three. And we get another. They're going to rule it an uh, incomplete pass. But Green, big number 91, got the pressure, forces that incompletion. And we take over with under five minutes to go here in the second quarter. Can we score? Sanders makes the catch. 
And I think that's one of our like first first downs throwing in the football game. Now Joe throws it. Don Maynard, he makes the catch. Got away from Night Train landing with Joe as a quarterback. He's going to put it right on the money. We're going to run this thing. Roger Craig getting loose. Picks up a gain of five. Second down, five yards to go. Give it to him again. Look at the blocking downfield, and Roger is loose. Crosses the 30, crosses the 25. Drop at that Werewolf 21 yard line. Third down, 10 yards to go. Going to step up in the pocket with Joe Cool and throws a Dawkins down. Don Maynard makes the catch. That is your stride, long-lasting drive of the game. I don't know, something like that. Anyways, it's all tied up at 7-7. They run the ball, they get shut down right there. Third down, eight yards to go, stepping up in the pocket. That pass will be caught, but it will be a first down. So we couldn't stop them. I'm okay giving up the reception, but let's not give up the yards. That pass falls incomplete. Another flag, holding, this time on the offense. My D-line too hot to handle. That pass caught, gonna be a gain of nine. Second down 11, they're gonna run the ball. Surprising call there, but Kelly is talented. Makes it a gain of eight. Third down and two. They give it to Kelly, that's gonna be a first down. But now time's ticking. They got one timeout in their pocket, but only three seconds to work with it. And they're gonna throw this one deep. Hail Mary, last chance to dance. And that pass will fall incomplete. So that's gonna do it for the first half of play. Ayo, 83 yards passing for them, 97 yards rushing for them. Now, last week versus Emmett. Emmett had 101 yards total that first half. He had 106 yards total the whole game. So that means we shut him down that second quarter. Second half, excuse me. Can we do that here versus Kelly, who is, again, a very talented running back in his own right? Sanders up to the Oakland 29-yard line. Nice kick return there. Montana going to roll right. Throws it on the run. Don Maynard makes the catch. Then gives the business. Oh, my goodness gracious. Don Maynard, I did not know you could ball like that. Craig. Back-to-back -back carries, and we're looking at third down and five from that Minneapolis 44-yard line. Joe Montana throws it to the left side, caught by Don Maynard. I'm telling you, I think he is the best silver receiver in the game. Andre Andre Reed is a bad boy, but the, yo, Don is that dude. He's the Don Dada, if you will. That pass caught by Sanders. Going to run the ball with Roger Craig. Gets a block by Tom Rathman and company, and he's going to take it to the crib. Touchdown, and now we got our first lead of the game. They're going to run the ball. Brad Van Pelt, get this man in your life. He is absolutely goon squad worthy. Look at him, defend the pass. Not only can he defend the run, but he can defend the pass. We force a three and out. Look at the blocking downfield. Roger Craig, nice spin move. That's one of his attributes, so you best use it. You best use it. Third down to 12. Gonna roll right, throw this one. It's gonna be caught by Big Pete. And Pete is loose to the 30 yard line. Kind of a dangerous pass, but sometimes things just go your way. And throws one over the middle. Matthew's making all kinds of catches. Go with possession receiver for your generic receivers because they'll catch nearly everything. As Bruski gets into the end zone right there. It's 21-7. They got Captain Comeback, though. And can Captain America lead this comeback, though? That pass caught for a first down in Oakland territory. They gained two right there. For the 46, second down and eight. That pass going to be caught, and that's going to be a gain of around seven. So third down and one, they're going to run the football, and Kelly gets strung out, and he's not going to have the first down defense stand up. They, we look at the penetration on that play. We do give up the first down, but barely, just barely. So on fourth down, to change the move. Then we get another sack because this defense is hunting as we head to that fourth quarter. So the Badgers defense is for real, especially in the second half. I don't know what it is. We just turn it on. Look at Marshall. Off of the edge, gets another sack. Third down and 22. Marshall with some more pressure. Forces a bad pass. Nearly intercepted by Turner. So we take over from our own 14. Y'all going to get that thing to Roger Craig. Nice physical run. And we're up to the 24-yard line. Third down and inches. Then go right up the gut. And that's going to be a first down game of five. Third down and two. Can we connect the dots? Sanders makes the catch and traffic move those chains. 143 now going to run the ball. That's Bruce getting back involved in a rushing attack for a gain of six. Give it to the young brother again. Look at him weave through traffic. Look at that mean block downfield to the 10 to the six yard line. And I think that the werewolves could be in trouble. We're going to run that football. Tom Rathman, follow your big fullback. Highway 44 to glory. 28-7. Bruce got another touchdown. He got more touchdowns than Roger Craig today. That's going to be a nice run right there by Roger Craig. By, by Roger Starback. My, excuse me, Roger. I got my Rogers mixed up. That pass intercepted. 
defense coming through in a major. Yo, this defense is absolutely filthy. I'm telling you, it makes me want to do the defense squad again, but maybe have a gold running back or a gold quarterback as we find Big Pete crosses the goal line and see if we can win that way. I'm so intrigued by this game nowadays, and I've, I've always had this game, but I don't know what it is. It's this, this time around, it's doing things differently than you would normally do it. As my, yo, we, we give him a pick. I mean, not a pick, but a kick six. Look at this. Kick return to the crib. That's going to be a touchdown that gets them down by 21. So they're still down big, but they're still fighting hard, and I can respect that. But I've always had this game, but whenever I played it, I try to make the most balanced team. And maybe, you know, just going heavy offense with a few guys on defense could possibly work. You know, this team is balanced. But I like to say that I love the defense in this. I don't know. Our offense is good, too. But there's no old lineman that's great. We only got two receivers plus a tight end. We usually don't go with a fullback, but we did. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm just really intrigued by this game and the different ways you can build a team. Anyways, they got the football back. They're starting to march just a little bit. That pass is caught. Third down and five now. 15 seconds to work with. That pass will be caught as well. And they're marching in our territory. From the 27, that pass caught by Kelly. And he's going to get tackled. They're going to burn the timeout. So that's the last timeout. Five seconds to go. Another Hail Mary. Nah, you're going to get sacked. And that is going to do it. Green with the sack to end the ball game. And that's exactly what we wanted. A dominating win. And they would finish the Werewolves Wood with 123 yards rushing. But I believe we kept Kelly under 100 yards. That's a good look. Keeping these running backs under 100 or just at 100, that is going to be the key for success. Because I'm not too worried about giving the big passing plays. We give a big passing plays, most likely that means our offense is just going to be on the field quicker. I hate not being able to stop the run because obviously the other team gets to control the game, control the clock, control the ball, and I kind of hate that feeling. So stopping the run for me is number one. If you want to throw the ball all day and you beat our DBs, that just gives Joe Montana more chances with the football as well. And I'm going to take my quarterback over your quarterback every day of the week. But that's going to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope that the rest of the day is the best of your day. And until we meet again, my friends, peace, love. How's